Hi parents, thank you for checking out this video tutorial. I am Nelly from Great Solution Jimmy Math. Today I will be showing you how to solve P6 pattern questions, which often appear as one of the last few questions in paper 2, and they are usually worth 5 marks, so it will be worthwhile to understand how to solve the questions better. So here I will be using two questions from past year prelim papers. From there, you can see that pattern questions can actually be solved very easily by a few techniques. And here, I'll be using uh, two techniques. So first is by spotting squared numbers, and second is by spotting patterns with constant difference. Okay, so let's look at our first question here. This is from Henry Park Primary School 2022 Prelim Paper 2, question 17. And question 17 is the last question in this paper. Okay, so first, let's read the question. Germina uses circles and triangles to form figures that follow a pattern as shown. So we can see figure 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and question A says, table shows the number of triangles and circles for the first four figures. Complete the table for figure 5. Okay, so we can first look at the range of numbers here. Take a glance and see whether there is a pattern, okay? Okay, so skimming through the numbers, right, we will see that this number of circle follows a pattern of a constant difference. That means a difference that is the same throughout. Okay, so therefore, we can find out the number of circles in figure 5 would be 18 plus 4, which is 22. Alright, now let's look at how the number of triangles is increasing. So in figure 1, we see there are two triangles. Figure 2, there are 6. Figure 3, there are 12. There doesn't seem to be any obvious pattern. But what if we try to relate the figure number with the number of triangles? Okay, let's say in figure 4. Do we see a 4 somewhere in the triangle? Well, okay, maybe I can try this. I separate this column of 4 with this group of triangles. So actually, can you see that this is a column of four triangles and on the other side, we have got a group of triangles where it forms a square that is four by four. So actually, the other side is just a four times four, right? And it's just a four, a column of four plus a group of square, I mean a group of triangles that forms a square that is a 4 times 4. Let's try the formula for figure 3. Does it work as well? So if we do a partition like this, this is a column of 3 and on the right we have got 3 rows of 3 triangles, right? Okay, so again this 3 times 3 is a squared number, just like the 4 times 4 was a squared number. Okay, does this work also in figure 2? Yes, it does. Okay, as you can see, this is a 2 on the left, and on the right, it is a 2 times 2. Okay, and it does work for our figure 1 as well, where the left is a 1, and the right is a simple 1 times 1. Okay, so therefore, figure 5, also has to follow the formula 5 plus 5 times 5. Okay, and that will be 30. So from here, we can find the total number of triangles and circles, which is 52. Alright, now let's look at question B. A figure in the pattern has 240 triangles. What is the figure number? Right, so remember the number of triangles, it follows the formula where it is the figure number, okay, plus the squared number of that figure number, which is n times n. Okay, so this will give us 240. Okay, let's say the figure number is uh, n. Okay, so here we can do a simple guess and check. So perhaps n is 10. So if n is 10, 10 plus 10 times 10, that is going to give us 110. So, 10 is too small, right? Maybe let's try to guess a bigger number. Perhaps 14. 14 plus 14 times 14. 
this one we will have 210 okay we are almost there so perhaps we try the next number 15 15 plus 15 times 15 okay and you realize true enough it is 240 so the figure number is 15 okay now let's look at question c what is the total number of triangles and circles in figure 100 all right so figure 100 we can find out the number of triangles easily right using the formula we found out so it will be 100 plus 100 times 100 okay and we will have 10,000 and 100 now let's try to find out the number of circles in figure 100 so as you know just now we found out that the number of circles follow a constant difference Okay, so it's always plus 4. So let's find out how many intervals are there from figure 1 all the way until figure 100. Okay, so to find out, we just simply take figure 100 minus figure 1. Here we will find that there are 99 intervals. What I mean by intervals is the arrow over here. Okay, the arrows here, they are the intervals. So from figure 1 all the way until figure 100, there are 99 of these arrows. And each arrow carries a constant difference of plus 4. So that means to say from figure 1, we will be adding many, 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 many plus 4s. Okay, how many plus 4s? We know that it is 99 arrows of them, right? So it will be 99 times 4. This will be the total increase from figure 1's number of circles. So this is going to give us 396. So therefore, from figure 1's number of circle, it's going to increase by 396. Okay, so we take 6 plus 396, and this will give us figure 100's number of circles. All right? So now we can find out the total, taking 402 circles plus the 10,000 and 100 triangles. This will give us the total. Okay? So from this question, you can see we have spotted squared numbers over here. 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, all these are squared numbers, okay? And also we have used the constant difference, okay, by um, just finding the intervals and from there we can find out what is the number of circles in figure 100. Let's now look at the next question, alright? So the next question here is from Catholic High. 2022 prelim paper 2 question 17 as well so it's also the last question okay let's read the question Raju used white and grey squares to form the following patterns as shown okay so we have figure 1 2 3 4 and here again we have a table all right so again let's glance through and skim through whether there is an easy pattern to see right if you see this for grey there is an easy pattern of a constant plus 3 okay so definitely our uh, figure five gray squares right will have to be a plus 3 as well okay so now let's look at the white squares how are the white squares arranged so here figure 3 we see the first slant okay and figure 4 there's a second slant so I will imagine that for figure 5 it's going to have another slant now it's a uh, three on each side okay at three white squares on each side so total at a uh, six right six plus six twelve okay and figure five the black squares is going to add another three right i mean not black gray right okay it's going to add another three so this will be what figure five looks like all right so let's look at part b what is the total number of squares in figure 40 okay so here right the question asks for total number of squares and notice the question only giving us one mark 
So perhaps this is a simple question that maybe only require one equation. So let's look at the total number first. Maybe there is a pattern to the total. Okay, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 4 is 4, 2 plus 7 is 9, 6 plus 10 is 16, 12 plus 13 is 25. Do you notice something? Right, these are what we call squared numbers, right? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. If we break them down into their squares, I mean the um, side of the square, okay, it will be 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, and lastly, 5 times 5. So you can see figure 1 it is a 1 times 1 total. Figure 2, it is a 2 times 2 total. Figure 3, 3 times 3 total. So figure 40, got to be 40 times 40 total, right? Okay, so this will give us 1600 or 1600. Okay, so let's look at question C now. How many more white squares than grey squares are used in figure 40? Right, so now let's find out either white or grey first. Lah. Do you think we should find white first? The pattern for white is a bit strange, right? And not as straightforward. But how about grey? Actually, grey is very straightforward, right? We can use the method that we used just now, okay, about the constant difference, finding the intervals, then after that, finding the number, right, at the far end of the road, okay, here it is figure 40, okay? So, let's just find the number of grey, right? Once we have found the number of grey, we can find the white. Reason? Because we already found the total, right? Okay, so let's find the gray first. So here we have figure 40. So let's think again, what is the number of intervals, right, from figure 1 all the way until to figure 40. So simply, we just take figure 40, 40 minus figure 1. Okay, this will give us 39 intervals. So as you can see, each interval carries a constant difference of plus 3, right? So in 39 gaps or intervals or arrows okay in 39 of these arrows just to keep it simple okay 39 arrows each arrow carries a plus 3 so 39 times 3 this is going to give us 117 so in other words from figure 1's gray square it's going to add a total of a 117 right until we reach figure 40's number of gray square okay so we take Figure 1's gray square, which is 1, plus the increase of 117. So here we will get 118 for the number of gray squares in figure 40. Okay, so with this, we can find the white already because we know the total of um, the squares, both white and gray. So we take the total minus the gray, okay. And then we can find out the white. Okay, so this is 1482. Okay, so white. And the question is asking for the difference, right, between white and gray. So therefore, we just take white minus the gray. Okay, and this is going to be 1364. So in this question, we simply use our knowledge of squared numbers and we also use the fact that we know how to find out the number in a far figure, okay, using the number of intervals and using the constant difference, right? So as you can see, pattern questions like this is not really that challenging right if you can um spot the difference like the difference being constant and you can immediately use the interval concept and um if you can also spot the squared numbers so parents i hope this video was easy to understand and helpful for your child as well in the next video i'll be showing you how to solve other kinds of questions so stay tuned if you have any questions or any suggestions for upcoming videos, feel free to leave a comment below and do subscribe to this channel. Thank you.